Hey yo everybody, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we're checking out a mod that helps us get our hands on more souls. I'm talking about souls of flight, night, sight, might, light, trite, fright, bite. So this mod is called the Ophioid mod. It's a mod that adds in a unique way to farm souls after beating the mech trio, aka Destroyer Twins and Skeletron Prime. But yeah, the boss has two phases, but after you beat the golem, it gets two more phases. So it's a really cool boss. But first, before we fight the boss, let's go ahead. Let's check out some recipes here. So we got this right here. A putrid stench comes from the thing you just made. It might attract something. Some Ophiopede in a crimson world. This is how you make it, and then this is the same thing, but obviously. This is the corruption version dead fungus bug and then there's this which is a work in progress infested compost amalgamation of organic vileness vileness why did i say it like that? vileness summons ophiopede question mark save this item for later the boss it summons right now is largely the same as the original so pretty much this summons in a stronger ophiopede right now but they're gonna add in a boss in the future that's way stronger but yeah let's go ahead let's take a look at some of the items here before we fight the boss too there's the mask itself boom very disgusting looking and then there is the trophy boom there you go the trophy has been placed beautiful it just looks like a really nasty eyeball all right so let's go ahead and let's see what this boss is like we're gonna use the living carrion carry on carrion to summon in this boss and it is a worm boss but the mod creator said it's a lot more unique take on worm bosses we about to see we about to see so there should be four phases the thing is i don't exactly know how strong i am all right so look get a nice look at him we're using a fairly strong weapon here but I don't want to kill him too fast. So he's flying around right now. He's shooting out little spikes like the destroyer would. When does his like next phase come out? What is that? What's wrong with his tail right there? Y'all see that? Does his tail like... Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. This reminds me of the uh, jellyfish phase. Or not jellyfish phase. The jellyfish from uh, Thorium. I guess there's a phase of the jellyfish. Where the jellyfish from Thorium sticks its like tentacles out and tries to attack you. But okay, this is cool. I want to kill the eyes but i might accidentally kill the boss it's kind of hard to hit the eyes is it but yeah you see this large like green was it Ooh, it gives you oozed venom and stinky oh you smell terrible oh my god what is going on here this shit would be crazy to fight if i was in the god mode the boy just spraying so that was it that was his like third attack so let's say his phase one is just him you know being regular maybe his phase two is the flames or oh what the hell <laughs> Okay, maybe that's a part of one of his phases. And then he shoots out all that goop in phase three. And then he has eyeballs in another phase. Like, I kind of just want to keep him alive and see if he does anything else. All right, so it doesn't seem like he's doing anything else. So uh, maybe we should try and deal the killing blow to him and uh, end his misery living on this planet. So obviously, he's going to drop his goodies here. And he's also going to drop this right here. He used to spawn in another Ophiopede. But you may be like, Game Raiders, where's the souls? They're souls, obviously. So they're somewhere up here. Boom, there they are. Look how many souls we got from that. There's probably a random amount you can get around like 25 to, I don't know, 10 I don't know, this is like the lowest amount we have is 11. But yeah, look, it gives us every soul. I don't see no souls of flight, though. I don't know if souls of flight are included or not. Maybe I haven't killed a wyvern in this world, so it didn't give me souls of flight. Let me check that. But yeah, we're going to fight the boss again, and uh, we're going to see how many souls we get from that. So I've noticed when you attack certain parts of his body, the shells break off, which is a really, really cool detail. I like that a lot. All right, so I killed him again. Let's see how many souls we get this time compared to the first time. And let's also see if we get souls of flight. All right, so souls of flight are not included on that. It's okay. It's not really that hard to farm souls of light but yeah souls of light and night are the main ones that are hard for me to farm personally i just never can seem to get enough because you always need them especially when you're playing with mods but yeah let's see the difference here on the second fight souls of night we got less souls of light we got more souls of might less fright less and sight less so it seems fairly rare to get over 10 i'm assuming the souls of light we got really lucky with because look at this we got nearly three of them that are 10 well we'll do it one more time just to see one more time all right so we beat him again the thing is he was way over here so i don't know oh there they are okay good let's see this time how many we got and uh you know it's kind of weird that find him in the crimson he drops this one because you can't use it if you beat him in the crimson <laughs> can you switch it no you can make this one we are going to use this infested compost just to see yeah it should probably drop the crimson one and detect that you're in the in a crimson world it's all good so we got 21 souls of light uh 24 souls of night so far souls of night we got more that's the most we got seven souls of might that's that's the lowest we've gotten of souls so far 14 and 14 okay so it seems like souls of light and night come in like pretty decent sized stacks compared to everything else which is good 
because like I said, those are the ones I usually find myself using the most in modded worlds. But let's go ahead, let's fight the work in progress version and see if there's any differences. If it's stronger, maybe. I don't even remember what the health pool was for the ori original one, but whatever. Okay, it doesn't work. I've noticed in the uh, NPC browser for cheat sheet that there is two Ophiopedes and one of them has less health. So I don't know, what's the difference here? Maybe, is this supposed to be the stronger variant? I don't know. We're about to see. He, he looks the same. Maybe he's longer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't see a difference between the two. I just summoned the other one. I don't know. It's like less health, honestly. I, I, I don't. Uh, uh, uh. So on the forum page, it actually says later in a future update, this falling recipe will enable you to summon the four stage version of the boss, which is more dangerous, but drops more souls. So it's a flight and more unique loot. So I don't think the four stage version is in the game yet, which I'm assuming probably this one's going to be the four stage one. And it's just a work in progress right now. It doesn't actually work yet. But yeah, you know, the, the recipe for the uh the recipe for this right here the infested compost is going to be used for the four stage version aka the harder version aka the one that's going to drop more and better loot unique loot even which i'm assuming is going to be like custom weapons and stuff like i said this mod's still work in progress but is a very helpful quality of life mod i've added it to a couple of my mod packs so i gotta remember to update you know the mod list for some of those mod packs all right one last little thing before i end this video off checking out the uh forum page there's a lot of information on here so i recommend you check it out and also it's says that it drops an infested egg it spawns a baby ophio fly this wasn't in the game from what i saw because i i looked up the whole entire like item pool and this wasn't there so that's not in the game yet and also you know it tells you all the phases and stuff here and uh the spoilers for these ones in the future update but also you come down here we get a couple more teasers for phase three and phase four these are really cool looking and i can't wait for phase three and phase four it's gonna be really cool it's gonna be more than a quality of life mod it's gonna be a content quality of life mod yeah i hope hope you guys enjoyed this video it might be a little shorter video but oh well sometimes it happens i love you guys and i will see y'all in the next video make sure to hit that subscribe and like button and follow me on twitch and, and follow me on my premium snapchat